Hey friends, how are you guys doing today? I hope you're doing so, so well and welcome back to another thrifty video. Today I have quite a haul for you. Last week I went to my parents' house. You guys saw me film a haul video with my mom. Y'all love it when Mama Miller's on the channel. But while I was there, I was like, I have all these bags in my car to take to Plato's Closet, Clothes Mentor, places where they buy clothing and give you cash. This, just things that I had accumulated from like the bins or just other things. I had done a booth a while ago. So I had those with me. I was like, I'm gonna go to the Plato's Closet and the Clothes Mentor in Fort Wayne. And because I was going home, I was like, okay, I'm gonna take these there real quick. Now, I took stuff in to sell. Did I expect to buy anything? Not really, but I happened upon another Plato's Closet sale. So this is insane. Mm, these things were not 90% off. All of the jeans were $5 and then everything that was on sale was half off. So I spent $108 and they did not buy a single thing from me. So love that for me. No, I do not. I do not love that for me. But you know what? I still am really happy with the pieces I found. And I also bought four things at the Clothes Mentor, which is next door to that Plato's Closet. So we've got quite a bit of a haul here. I also threw in some things that I picked up at a random Goodwill just to, you know, give you guys some more spice. But the things I got at that Plato's Closet were freaking insane and really not what I expected. So I wanted to share them with you. Let's start with these. These are so cute. These are a pair of black high-waisted wide leg jeans. These were $5. All their sale jeans were. These are from Everlane. So I was like, oh, okay. When I stumbled upon the sales section, I was like, usually I'm not expecting too much, but the first things that I saw were like Madewell jeans and Everlane jeans. And I was like, oh, okay, this is actually gonna be good. So these are in a size eight, really cute style. These were, what were they trying to sell these for originally? $18, I got them for five. Really happy with those. I think they're absolutely adorable. And that's a really good style for right now. I noticed they have like a whole, section of clearance denim that was black they're clearing out their black denim maybe they just get a lot of black denim but i was like i was having it because i do well selling black denim so this pair is really exciting too look at this it's kind of got a little bit of a brownish undertone to the black it looks like it's just a pretty like straight leg maybe relaxed fit these are really good too these are from good american so we've got a pair of good american jeans as well there's the tag for you. Good American's a great brand to resell. Usually it resells for me for their jeans right around like $50 to $75. These are a size six or 28. And again, they were selling these originally for $25 and then they made it to the sale for five bucks. So for $5, like that is less than my Goodwill's charge for their stuff. And oftentimes they mark up brands like this there. So I was really happy to find these for five bucks. Heck yeah. I have a style name just with like the numbers and stuff so I can look that up later. But these are really cute and I do think that they should do really well. So I picked those up to resell on Posh and eBay, things like that. And then I'm gonna show you guys some of the clothes I found too because those are pretty special. This one is a really fun kind of lightweight piece. It's got a little bit, bit of a boxy cut. There's a seam right here on the inside and then this whole part is like just extra fabric on the outside there. This is from the brand Vince, which I personally really like to resell. It does well for me, it's a size large. This was originally $14, so I paid $7 for this. At the time I was hoping I was gonna get some, you know, in-store credit from the things I was selling to them. Obviously that did not happen. And I also picked this up because it is 3% cashmere. So 52 cotton, 45 viscose, 3% cashmere, and it's a women's size large sweater. So obviously I'll put cashmere and maybe like quiet luxury, things like that inside of the listing for that. But anything with cashmere, anything from Vince, a sweater like that, I'm expecting that to probably resell for close to $50. So a win for sure. For $7, I factored that I'd probably hopefully sell it around 50. And if I sell for 50, I make 40. Minus my cost of goods, I'd still make 30 bucks on that sweater. So decided to grab her. And then let's do another <laughs> pair of jeans again. Another pair of black little jeans. These are skinny leg, and these are also from Everlane. So I grabbed at least two pairs of Everlane jeans for five bucks, which is great. These were marked at $15 there. They're a size 27 ankle, and I think that these, I'm hopeful to sell them between 35 and 50. I'll probably list 
around 40 or 50 and then hope to make 35. But for five bucks, I thought that was definitely worth picking up. And then this was exciting. So they had a, a men's sale section as well. I didn't actually have time to look there. I had Otis in the car with me, so I was moving fast. It was a nice day though. It was nice and chilly for him. He's actually back here sleeping on the couch. I know he looks like a pillow, but he likes to lay here while I film. Um, but in the women's section, I found this piece and they might have marked this as a women's piece, actually. That'd be interesting if they did. It doesn't say, but it was $9, so I got it for $4.50. And this is a men's piece. It is from the brand Billy Reed, which is a great men's brand to resell. I find it does really well for me. It's got a speckling throughout it. It's a black, kind of lighter weight, long sleeve, and then the white speckling throughout. Men's size large, really great condition, nothing wrong with it. And the last time I sold Billy Reed, I think I sold um, something a little bit, I think I had a t-shirt and it sold for maybe 35 bucks or something crazy. So Billy Reed, great brand to know. I was excited to find that. I didn't even look up comps. I just knew that it should be worth at least four bucks, you know? So got her. And then this was a new to me brand, but I saw the sweatshirt and I felt it. And this just feels, it doesn't feel like cozy. It feels like quality. <laughs> like it is nice and thick. It feels good. And this is by a brand I had not heard of, but one that should be known is Talentless. So Talentless, I looked up comps and most of their pieces that were sweatshirts, sweatpants, it looked like they were maybe like luxe loungewear, activewear kind of a vibe. They were selling for around like 40, 50 bucks. And that was all sold prices. So this is a really nice dark green kind of washed look to it. And this was how much? $17. So I got this for believe like eight or nine dollars but i think the comps are really gonna probably put this at around 50 bucks to resell so this is 100 percent con and it's in a size small so i thought it was a really cute style really cute color so i decided to grab her too and then a brand that's been surprising me lately is abercrombie and fitch a lot of the things i've been finding for them especially more substantial denim pieces jackets things like that have been doing well and I actually picked up, I pulled two pieces to buy. This and a pair of overalls. And I was surprised to find that the jeans were actually selling better than overalls. Cause I feel like overalls are usually a really good pickup. So I decided to leave those behind, but these are from Abercrombie & Fitch. They're the skinny high rise jeans in a size 28 or six. And they again are a black skinny jean. We have a raw edge hem there. And then it's a button fly, really cute pair of jeans. Look like they're in amazing condition, really cute. Again, all their jeans were five bucks. They were such a great deal. And jeans are, you know, shockingly, in the beginning of my reselling journey, I hated reselling jeans. And now I resell jeans all the time. I love it. So those I saw comps right around 40 bucks, like 35 to 50 again. And that's what I love to sell things around. So I grabbed that. And then this was absolutely shocking. <laughs> I was so excited when I found this. This was just like on the end and I saw the color and I went and I felt it. I didn't even look at the tag and I was like, oh, that feels nice. And then I looked at the tag and I was very excited about this. It's a very cute pink cropped hoodie. It has a little, little um, adjustability to the waistband, but y'all, this is a hoodie from For Love and Lemons. It was in the sale section and I have only found For Love and Lemons once before. The dress that I buy, bought at another buy sell trade store, a Plato's Closet, and that one sold for like over a hundred dollars. For Love and Lemons is an amazing brand. This is 78% 78, 78% cotton, 22% polyester, but it is so cute. It's got a hood and the inside is so stinking soft. I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell, but this is one of the softest interiors I've ever felt. It's a really cute cropped sweatshirt. It's in a size extra large, which is a great size. And this thing, um, I don't have a tag on it anymore, but I think I paid like maybe like $7 for it, something crazy. And then it has a little For Love and Lemons logo right there on the front on the chest. So cute. I think on the low end, I'll try to sell that for at least 50 bucks. I feel like it might go for more like 75. I think it's absolutely adorable, a great size. And then we have another pair of black denim. I don't know why they were only rooting out the black, but these are a pair of Madewell jeans. And these have a little bit more of a width down here. 
and then they are also button fly and these are from Madewell in the Cali Demi boot style and so these are a size 27 and I have had a lot of luck selling Madewell jeans and this particular style has done well for me too. I have sold a lot of these right around like 40 bucks and these were again five dollars. They were selling them originally for 18 but a five buck investment love that i would love to find more madewell jeans for five bucks that's amazing and then this is really cute too i wonder if the same person that sold them the for love and lemon sweatshirt sold them this because this is really cute it's a slightly cropped long sleeve and a really nice fabric this originally let's see was seven dollars they didn't have a brand on this it was three dollars and fifty cents for me and this is another one. Some of these brands are hard to know where they're sold at, but this is the brand Sunday, and it was sold at Aritzia. We love an Aritzia fine, $3.50. This brand is sold there, and it's a size extra large. I actually already tried this on, and I think I'm gonna keep it, so I'm not gonna resell it, but if I wanted to, I could probably sell that for at least $35, maybe a little bit more but I decided to keep her for myself, especially for it being a great layering, like a basic piece. And then we have the last pair of black denim. <laughs> so these are a really fun pair of patch pocket front. We've got button fly, and then they seem to be maybe more of a skinnier leg. And then they have some interesting details throughout, you know? These are from Pilk Girl and the Letterpress, which is an anthropology brand. So I was excited to see these there as well. And these are the high rise slim jeans in a size 28. So these are from Anthropology. They were selling them for $18 originally and these were five bucks. And I think for me, I'm gonna list those right around 50 bucks, 40, 50, somewhere in there. Hope to make at least 35. I usually sell them for right around 40 bucks. And then we have two more pieces from Plato's Closet. And this one is really cool. So this is a very unique piece. It's got these stripes on it some interesting piece work to the jacket. And then here's the back. I love these very interesting stripes on it. Now this is a collab piece with Adidas. So it's Adidas with Danielle Kathari. And anytime I see a collab between anybody and a sportswear brand or any brand that's more prominent, I automatically think it's probably gonna be more expensive. Collabs usually are with designers and designers, you know, spells money. So this is a great thing to find. Some of these jackets or sweatpants from this collab were reselling between like 75 to $150. So really good comps. This is a creamy white color and it's in a size extra small, which is a little bit not great. I wish it was bigger because then I would have more buyers for it, but I still think I'm hopefully going to sell this for at least 80 bucks. I'll probably list it high at like around 100. I did have to pay up for this. It was marked at $25. So I did, this is the most expensive thing I paid for. I paid $12 for this, but I do still think that I should be able to get at least $50 of profit net after my cost of goods. So I decided it was worth it. And I've been really wanting to experiment with some more collab pieces, so I thought that was fun. And then this to me is kind of a crazy find. Um, I wear this one particular shirt all the time. It's a black shirt. I got it years ago, and it's from Victoria's Secret Pink, and it says, feeling safe is a human right. And I wear that all the time, and I get a lot of questions about where I got that shirt from. And y'all, you will not believe, I saw this in the, in the sales section. It is literally the same shirt that I wear all the time but in gray and it's a long sleeve so i was like so excited about this i was like oh now i can wear it in a t-shirt and a long sleeve but i actually have been thinking about it and i do think i might actually either sell this or put it in a whatnot show because i get so many subscribers who want to also own it but it's not sold anywhere and it's not sold anymore so it's a one size piece from victoria's secret pink i think that this was something cheap i think it was like three dollars or something like that maybe four dollars at the most i thought it was really cute and obviously i own it and wear it all the time so i decided to grab her too and that's everything from the plato's closet a hundred dollars for all of that and just with like two pairs of those jeans i should be able to pay back all of what i spent and then everything else will be profit which is excellent and now let's head over to clothes mentor i got a few little things here and i spent in total $26.75 for four items. 
I bought one pair of jeans for me. They were new tags from just Old Navy, I think, but I was looking for a dark wash that fit me and was a little loose and just comfy, and I found those, and those were $5 because their denim was all $5 as well. And then I picked up these three pieces to resell, including this gorgeous little puff sleeve sheer blouse with the ruffles at the sleeves. It's so cute and absolutely adorable by Anthropology. It's a size extra small, knew it tags. So this was originally $98 US and this was there for $17. I got it for half off, so I paid $8 for this. But for new it tags for $100 cute little blouse, I was really happy with that. I think this should do really well. And I'm expecting it to probably resell for 60 as well. I'll list around 65 maybe. It's really cute. <laughs> and I think it should do pretty good. So that was very exciting. And then this was another cute pair of jeans. And these were not black, shockingly enough. Neither one of the pairs I got from Clothes Mentor <laughs> were black denim. These are really fun. They have a button fly as well. They're a light wash and really distressed pair of wide leg pants. They have the raw edge hem, really interesting. I really like them. And these are from Free People, which is a really great brand. I love to resell. Size 33, amazing size, and really cool pair of pants for five bucks. Like, I could not. These were there originally for $30.99. And I got them for five bucks, like shocking, right? So I got those and this is a great style. All the Gen Z kids are loving wearing stuff like this right now. So for $5, I'd be shocked if I sold those for less than 50 because those are really cute. And again, $5, <laughs> absolutely crazy. And then the last piece I got from Clothes Mentor was this gorgeous little sweatshirt. Again, I felt this and was like, ooh, this feels really nice. And then I looked at the tag and I didn't recognize it, but I looked it up because of how nice it felt. And this is a brand called Varley. And under Varley, it says Los Angeles and London. And usually if something says made in LA or made in Los Angeles, made in Spain, things like that, I look it up because usually those are worth more money. This is a size small and I was correct. Varley pieces were kind of similar to that other brand that I found talentless in that it looked like maybe more like luxe loungewear, active wear. And these pieces were also selling for the same prices, which was right around 50 bucks. So it's kind of a tan cream color in person. And then it has a little bit of a cutout right here on the shoulder. Cold shoulder is not exactly the right word for it because it is still intact, but it's like a little interesting detail, I would say. Um, but this is really cute. It's a nice little sweatshirt and I paid, let's see, six bucks for it. So I think for a 40, $50, Sale price, $6, not too bad. And those were all the things I got at Clothes Mentor and Pluto's Closet on sale, which is great. Love to see all of those amazing pieces at such great prices. We got a Ritzia for Love and Lemons, Everlean, Madewell, Good American, Billy Reed, like really shocking indeed. So very pleased with those. And then on a completely different day, I was, you know, going to take GU to a movie and Jeremy and GU and I, we popped into a Goodwill and I happened to find some items. So I thought, why not? I'll just share them with you here too. And I spent $47.09. I bought seven items and I had 10% off of everything. And so the first thing I found was a Rails little plaid shirt and their flannels do well for me. Their plaids, they're a really good brand to know for their plaids and flannels. And I put it on my fall brands list actually for this very reason, for flannels. So this is from Rails. It's in a size medium. It should do really well. It's a great color scheme. It's kind of a nice little kind of purplish pink color and blue. And it's really soft, which we love to see. And it's 50% rayon, 50% tenso. So should do great, very happy with that. It was originally at $4.99, so I got it for $4.50 instead of $5. Then we have this gorgeous dress, and this was mostly a style pickup, although the brand is not bad either. So this is what the front looks like. It's really difficult to show, but this is the neckline, and then it is a long, I would say maxi length dress. We have one ruffle here at the bottom, gorgeous blue and purple color, and then for the back here, we also have a fun little tie there with a little hole peeping through. This is from Halston and it's in a size small. 
And Halston is expensive, but there's some mixed feelings about this brand, but some of it can sell well. So I decided to give it a go. It's from Halston. It was $7.99. All the dresses at my Goodwills in my area are. And so I paid $7.20 for this after the 10% off. But I think I can probably resell that for around 50 bucks. That's my hope, that's my goal. So I decided to grab her. And then this was a really fun find. I found this in the dress section, but I would say that this is more of a tunic, but it has a very distinct feel to it. And if you guys can recognize it, I, I bet you can actually. It is a free people piece and it has this kind of higher neck and then it's a very fun lacy piece that has a lot of flare and flounce to it, but then all the lace for this like middle part, it has black outlining, it's really cute and it still has the original tag that would have gone right here attached, not the tag itself, but just the pull. This was marked at $3.99, so they must have thought this was a nightgown, which honestly makes a lot of sense, but it's from Free People and it's in a size medium. So it looks like it definitely is one of their newer pieces because it does run oversize, but I think this should do really well. It looks like it's brand new. There's nothing wrong with it. I'm expecting that to sell for probably close to 40 bucks. <laughs> Let's hope at least. And then we have this, another nice piece. I only really went through the dress section. I was not there very long. We had to make it to get you to the movie, but I did happen to find quite a few things in that dress section. This is a really fun jumpsuit. So it's a fun purple color. This is what the neckline looks like. And it has a tie for around the waist. And then it's made of a very like soft kind of jersey material. So it's really comfy, it has a wide leg, purple, very cute. And this is from Anthropology as well. So this is a Maeve for Anthropology jumpsuit. And these things do well for me. Jumpsuits from Anthropology, long pieces from Anthropology usually sell for around 70 bucks for me. $8 for this, so I bought it for $7.50 and this was in a size extra small. Definitely has stretch and give to it, but an extra small should do well still for that, I would say, and really cute color. I thought that was really nice, and then this was a really fun find too. Again, I got all these long dresses, so it's hard to show you. This is the neckline, which is super in right now, that kind of cowl style, just like a little bit of a looser fit right there, and it's a gorgeous green jade color. It's a full length, maxi dress it's actually a bridesmaid gown and this is new attacks which is amazing it's from the brand amsale which is a great bridesmaid dress company to resell this looks like a newer tag from them and then the actual tag for the piece is over here it tells me the style name it tells me the color which is so important when you're looking at bridesmaid colors that's usually what is the most important rather than style. A lot of brides want their bridesmaids just in the same color. So jade and it's fluid satin, it's in a size 10. So new with tags, I looked this dress up and they were reselling for over $100, which is pretty typical of bridesmaid dresses. Originally, I think this cost like $300. So I found it and they must not have marked it up even though it was new with tags, but uh, they only marked it at $7.99, which is what all the dresses are. So if you guys have straight um, pricing at your Goodwills, dresses are a great place to look because bridesmaid dresses, wedding dresses, dresses for formal occasions can sell for so much money and they often aren't marked up if you have that straight pricing. So. I would definitely check out those pieces because they do well, especially if you find good brands. That one should do great. And I found a second bridesmaid dress there actually. This one is also amazing. Very happy with this. I put this on my list of bridesmaid dress brands to be on the lookout for. This is a gorgeous little pink kind of chiffon style, long dress. It has built-in cups and it has a slit as well. Really pretty color, really pretty style. Here's what the back looks like here. But this is a great brand to know. If you don't already know it, um, take note. It is Waters and Waters. So that's what the tag looks like. Sometimes there is another tag for these pieces. Sometimes it's like W2 by Waters and Waters, but this is the more expensive line. This is a brand that's sold at Beholden, the Anthropology Wedding website, sold on Revolve, I think too. Like it's expensive and it's, def it's, not, it's not cheap. So I was really excited to find this in a size 18, which is amazing. And it's 100% polyester, light steam, dry clean only. And I also have the style number on here, so I'm gonna hopefully look that up. Waters and Waters, again, 
it probably cost at least $300 for that dress originally. And I'm hopeful that I can resell it for probably around $100. It might be more, it might be a little less, something right around there that would make me really happy. And I just love selling those bridesmaid dresses. And it's such a good deal too, if you are the bridesmaid, to get a bridesmaid dress secondhand, especially since you're not usually gonna wear it ever again, you know? Like why spend $400 when you could spend 100? Like always look secondhand first. And a lot of people do look secondhand first, which is great. But yeah, aren't those so fun? I found so many things and I felt like I found so many great deals. Very pleased. I spent what, $47 at Goodwill, 25 at Clothes Mentor and 107 at Plato's Closet. So this whole thing for under $200, and just the one single dress, the one am sale dress probably will be able to make up for everything, which is amazing. We, we love to hear it. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys thought. Do you guys like these just kind of sit down thrift haul? Let me know and let me know which piece was your favorite that I found. There was a lot of good ones today. That for Love and Lemon sweatshirt just really spoke to me. It was so soft and so exciting to find that brand. So I think that was my favorite, but let me know yours in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys felt like I earned your subscription today or a like on this video, please do that before you head out. It would help me out so much. And just thank you so much for being here. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. And until the next video, bye.